everybody, and welcome back to the next video in the series of Marriage, Divorce, and Remarriage. People want to bring up the question of when a woman is considered a man's wife. Matthew 1, 18-20 Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise, when as his mother Mary was a spouse to Joseph before they came together, note that, before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Notice it says, before they came together, doesn't mean they were not married. 19. Then Joseph, her husband, being a just man and not willing to make her a public example, was minded to put her away privily. Then Joseph, her husband. Wait, what? Her what? Husband. Now why would he be called her husband if they were not married? Duh. 20. But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, Fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. Note that, for that which conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife. Wait, his what? Wife. W-I-F-E. Once again, notice in verse 20 the word W-I-F-E appears. Get that? Wife means wife. English explains it plainly. No process here is given. Now the word espoused appears in verse 18 in Luke 1, 27 and 2, 5. Espouse, Webster's 18, 28. To betroth, to betroth, to promise or engage in marriage by contract in writing or by some pledge as the king espoused his daughter to a foreign prince, usually and properly followed by to rather than with. To marry, to wed, to unite intimately or indissolubly. To embrace, to take, to oneself, with a view to maintain, as to espouse the quarrel of another, to espouse a cause. It's very evident here, it doesn't always mean engaged. It has more than one meaning. There's no evidence that it means in those texts only as engaged. So they were married by ceremony, but not sexually yet. There's no proof that they were not already married. She was his wife. Why? Because that's what the text said. Either you believe the text as it is written, or you don't. Get that straight. The Bible's the final authority, not your opinions or what some man says. Alright, brethren, so that's all for this video. The next one will be touched on in Mark chapter 10, verses 10 through 12. So stay tuned for the next video. All of you take care. Love the Lord Jesus Christ. Fear God and keep His commandments. And read the King James Bible.